<laughs> Fight that summer brain drain and get your kids excited for their classes. I promise it can happen. It can. We're <laughs> continuing our back to school coverage. We have Dr. Erica Smithwick back with us. She is a member of the Science Moms and is ready to show us some DIY experiments that you can try at home. It's so good to see you again. Thank you for having me back. Great to be here. And it's so fun when we can learn and do something fun with our kids at the same time. They sometimes don't even realize that they're learning. Right. It's the trickery. <laughs> it's it, the is, trickery. it is the trickery. <laughs> and this is going to be as much fun that we're going to get school started a little bit early in our own houses. Yeah. I remember this experiment from when I was in school. <laughs> it in a bottle. <laughs> yes. Tell us more. Yeah, so at Science Moms, we're all about connecting moms with information to learn about climate change and then also give their kids some tools to start talking about climate change. So what we're doing in these little activities is connecting the science around climate and weather to things you can do in the house and fun activities and also gets your brain going again for the start of the school year. I tell you what, because there were some warnings that were coming in yesterday with thunderstorm warnings and we had some tornado watches and warnings coming in as well. Yeah. There were a lot of questions in my house about tornadoes yesterday oh, and about wind. So the timing of this is perfect. Yes. So tell us what we're making here. Right. So this is going to be tornado in a bottle, just as we said. And these are materials you'll probably have in your house. You have, of course, some plastic mm -hmm. bottles, which you want to reuse, not throw away. Right. That's right. Always. Great yep. activity to teach them about that aspect of it. Um, and then you can put some water in here. You can also make it fun by using food coloring and, of course, glitter. I don't know. You have just a lot. had that. Had that <laughs> glitter. A lot of glitter. People have a love or hate relationship with glitter, so my husband hates it. I love it. Um, and then you can choose any color, so that's fun for their little kids to play with. My 11-year-old and I made this this weekend, and he decided that blue and red were on opposite sides of the color wheel, which I didn't remember, or maybe I right did. Right, good for him. I, I know. know. So that's, that's, smart that's what one. we have here. So basically, the most complicated thing might be a washer, which really helps this work well. Um, but you don't necessarily need to have that. So where is so that going to go? Right on. Yeah, top so of the one bottle. You put one on top of the other, put it like this, and then you wrap it with duct tape. Okay. After, you, well, first you fill it with with, with the, the color, water, colored water. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we've made one for you here now, and the deal is that you have to shake it really vigorously. So I'll try once. If it doesn't work, I'm going to let you guys. Okay. Try. Okay. Shake, shake, <laughs> shake, 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 shake. shake, 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 shake. Uh, the glitter really adds to this. <laughs> it really does. You need it. And so, what are as we're showing our kids this? What are we looking? We're trying for? to look at the tornado that's just been formed. Oh, inside how in cool. the vortex. So we're looking at how much energy it takes to create that circular motion in that vortex, which is the energy in the atmosphere that actually creates those tornadoes. And a lot, obviously. Yeah. Does anyone want to give it a go? I do want to give it a go. <laughs> it's a workout. It's a little... Okay, so I have to shake it and turn it upside down. Yes. Shake, 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 <laughs> shake. That's a good tornado, babe. I feel like I'm a little Where's Bill creepy. Paxton when you need him? You did it. <laughs> how cool. I, so we were watching a video yesterday about how tornadoes form. And if I read this right, they all form from supercells. Yeah. And and it's like the... <laughs> Who are you sometimes? <laughs> well, it was talking, I love it, it. But it was talking about, you know, the different pressure conditions and the clouds start to drop and all of that forming. It's really hard to predict when those conditions are right to form a tornado, but right. we're getting the science around that is getting better and better. It's getting better. So, and as our climate time. heats up, of course, we're getting more of those kinds of environments yeah. being created. Absolutely. So, so what's going on over here? So yeah. First of all, we have to measure the wind. That's one of right. the things we do when we're in meteorology, right? So again, really simple. All you need are these little bathroom cups that you can get at the store. Um, I have some paper straws. You need two two straws. You can use plastic, of course, but paper is better for the environment. Um, and a pencil, the Ticonderoga. Oh, yeah. Sure. Ah! We know them well. <laughs> um, Finding and, out all about them. At the beginning them. of the school year, this is great because it has a full eraser, and that's yes. really yeah. important for this yeah. project. So basically, yeah, you're gonna the, the middle cup is gonna have four equal holes that you use a hole punch, and you and you uh, punch the cup on equal sides. Mm -hmm. You thread the straws through the middle, um, through the middle like this. And then on each side, you've also, we pre-cut some cups there where you're gonna attach it on the end. See what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And then the pencil, first you use the sharpened end to create a hole at the bottom of the cup, turn it around, put the eraser side up, and that kind of sets itself right on the edge. With a push with pin. push pin. Now, so is this like kind of a, a windmill? Yes. Oh, or, you Basically, know. Basically, like that's a, what it is. You know, the, do you remember the little things so that would spin? Okay, never mind. The pinwheels, <laughs> pinwheels, yeah. pin pinwheels, pin 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 yes. yes. So basically, if we turn this on, get some wind it will should. look at this look at this magic <laughs> this meteorolo meteorological magic you sorry that was a, a tough word you don't need a phd to make this work <laughs> but it's a great if you if you actually mark one of these then you could count how many times it goes around yeah so if you have a standing fan at home which maybe is on because it's still hot <laughs> you can uh, play with the different levels of the fan to see how fast it's spinning and frankly this is really what meteorologists use it's not much more complicated than this to this measure something wind speed. yeah so it gets uh, you to understand that you can connect with the science and and you know so connecting kids with 
knowledge around climate is really important. It helps reduce their anxiety around some of the changes that they're seeing because they can feel more empowered and more resilient. Well, sure, especially like this summer, we've seen really hot, really dry conditions right. and then seeing some of those thunderstorms and early this spring, even the tornadoes popping up in our area, having those conversations is vital with That's them. That's right. I mean, we're seeing extreme weather hit more and more wildfires, hurricanes, the extreme storms, heat waves. Um, so this gives us some tools to have those conversations with our kids. Wonderful yes. stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much as always. Love it. Knowledge is power. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you're interested in learning more about Science Moms and their mission, we're going to have a link on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.